Hey everybody, thanks a lot for joining me. Today's review is on this cute little mini hot roller set. And I haven't seen a lot of great travel hot roller sets. I do have like a set of five jumbo hot rollers. But the way it's packaged, it's really not geared toward travel. I also have some Velcro rollers that I like to travel with. Those are pretty easy, but you also do need to wrap your hair around a curling iron first. And for time's sake, um, that may take too much time for some people's liking. So when I found this little set of actually 10 hot rollers in a really, really small container, I hope you can see how compact this is. I mean, it's about the size of my hand um, all the way around. I really felt like I had to try it out. And yeah, who could turn down this packaging? I mean, being me, pink hot rollers, zebra bag, yes! The rollers come in three different sizes. There are three large, uh, three medium, and four small. And then they also come with the pins that go around them. I'll show you what those look like. They actually are held right back here in a little pocket. And the sizes of these correspond with the sizes of the rollers. I personally have never been a fan about using pins to secure hot rollers. Um, maybe I'm just bad at it, but I feel like I've got a lot of layers in my hair too. And um, sometimes I just need the extra coverage on that roller that a clip provides um, to keep those little ends from like sprucing out everywhere. But you do get these. Now, your whole set of the rollers could lift out of this pouch, but it is a heat resistant pouch. When you um, heat them up, you wanna actually leave this shut. I leave it totally zipped. It won't hurt the pouch, and I think the rollers get hotter. As far as the 90 second heat up, I think they need a little more time than that. This is just my personal preference, and I know what kind of hair I'm dealing with, which is fine, straight hair that likes to stay straight. So um, whenever I'm doing rollers, I go for generally a longer heat up on the rollers and I try to leave them in my hair longer if possible. I'd give it even just a five minute heat up. I do think it makes a difference and the rollers end up being quite a bit hotter than they are after the 90 seconds. On each side you've got kind of a smooth round like groove I guess and then some little teeth also. I have not had a hard time with these staying in my hair. I feel like once they're in they're pretty much in and I don't really have to worry about them. Also when you get these rollers and you first open them up they may not be actually hooked into the device that's heating them up and that means they're not going to be heating up as effectively so you really want to get them there on the base and then I give it like a little twist and you can feel them click on. So that being said you've let them heat up. Um, I wanted to show you how I put them in and I'm just using some clips that came with like another hot roller set that I have. I also used just these regular little claw clips that many of us have. These fit nicely around any of the sizes of rollers so if that's all you've got you know throw those on there or use the pins that are provided if you're not pin challenged but I do three large ones on the top and then I do a medium right behind and another medium on each side of my little large roller mohawk that I've got going on down the middle and then I'm left with the four small rollers and I just put those you know kind of two on each side on the lower half of my head. I do feel like it's adequate to get all the way around my head and I don't feel like I'm wrapping too much hair around any one roller. The longer I can leave these hot rollers in the better. Um, I not only get a better curl out out of it if I can leave them in longer, but the curl actually lasts longer throughout the day. I actually left them in like 40 minutes this morning while I was working on some other stuff and then just took them out and as far as styling goes, you can style your hair as much or as little as you want after using rollers. I give it a brush and sort of soften things up, tip my head over, get some volume worked in, um, maybe use a little teasing comb around my like bang area. Just doing a little styling there I feel like keeps it from flopping in my face as the day goes on, but I keep the rest of it pretty loose, just a light mist of hairspray on top, and then you're done. Overall, I am really, really pleasantly surprised by this set. Even if you're not traveling, think about the small amount of countertop space that, that something like this would take I up. I remember be feeling so lost the first time I tried to like wrap my hair around hot rollers myself, and it takes some practice. It's kind of like putting false eyelashes on, you know? You're going to need to give yourself some practice practice time before you let yourself get too frustrated. Also, don't forget about how long did you actually let them heat up before you started and how long did you leave them in before you took them out. Um, so those, I think, are some things that will affect your success with a product like this. But I was really happy to find a travel hot roller set that really zips up, is very simple. So definitely two thumbs up to this little guy. Thank you so much for watching my review, and I'll see you next time. Bye.